guys, Shane the Man here again, and I'm back with another Snot Crate unboxing. So this month, Snot Crate is evidently from Israel. So if you see my last Snot Crate video, it was the first one I've ever gotten, and it was from Holland or the Netherlands uh, snacks, and I really enjoyed the Snot Crate. Um, comes with this cool book, tells you all about the candies and stuff like that, which I really enjoy. And it's just a lot easier for me to do that instead of, you know, going out and trying to find different candies and stuff in my stores around here on Amazon or whatever. But uh, let's get into it. So, like I said, this month's crate is from Israel. It's uh, the book that it comes with. Tells you a bit of fun facts about Israel. It's got the Israeli flag and shows you where on the earth it is. And uh, just kind of a little history, kind of a little about what the country is about. Some fun facts such as all Jewish people between 18 to 26 years old are entitled to a free 10 day trip to Israel. That's pretty cool. Uh, the cell phone was invented here. Anyway, you kind of get what I mean. Some fun facts, stuff about the country, and then it'll tell you what's in your in your box. So let's check it out. First thing, right on top here, I see it's got these uh, Bamba peanut snacks. Looks kind of like that. Looks kind of like something I've had in my German uh, snack tasting video. Kind of like a cheesy poop that tastes like peanut. But uh, let's check it out. This is kind of what it is here. It looks like this. Mmm, really, really light. It's like a cheesy poof, but extra light. A little bit dry. It does taste like peanut, though. It's pretty yum. The taste kind of reminds me of like the peanut butter cotton crunch. A little bit salty, good peanut butter flavor. But it's good. It's a kind of light snack. Bamba. I like it. it says here it's a peanut butter flavored puff corn snack. By far the most popular snack sold in Israel. So, cool. Next, uh, it's another kind of a chip or crisp, as some of the uh, Europeans like to call it. Uh, Basili, barbecue flavor. See, the magazine says Basili barbecue is pronounced, oh, pronounced Beasley. Okay, so Beasley, looks like that. Now, these famous chips are from Israel come in a variety of shapes and flavors. Let's try these out. I'm, pretty, I'm, a, I'm a fan of barbecue kind of flavored chips and stuff like that. Woo, these smell really potent. Mmm. Barbecue flavor is not as strong as it smells, which I like. What I really like though is the texture. It's super, super crunchy. I really like crunchy things. It's like, uh, if you're in America and you ever had corn nuts, it's kind of like that. It's a really hard, crunchy, corn flavored kind of crisp. Very light barbecue flavor, but I like it. Mmm. Moving on, let's see what I have next. Let's check out the drink. Uh, it's actually a little bit extra money if you want to add the drink add-on on to it, but I thought it'd be fun to have a drink instead of just some snacks. Especially since I'm eating these snacks, I'll have like something to wash it down with. But this one is a pre-got strawberry banana. So made by a beer brewery in Israel, these types of juice drinks are a popular way to beat the heat in Israel. So let's check it out. Ooh, some carbonation. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, that's actually really good. It tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. Mmm, I like that. And it's got the, it's just like any other kind of soda, about 38 grams of sugar, but it tastes yum. I like it. Next, uh, I see right here in the bottom we have a bunch of these. It says Lieber's Fruit Toffees. So awesome fruit candies that come in four flavors, apple, cherry, lemon, and orange. And I guess they gave me, I got an extra flavor that didn't say here. I got green apple. But it's a... Uh, Kind of like a taffy toffee flavor, maybe like a uh, Starburst or a uh, Tootsie Roll. Oh wow, way softer than I thought. It's even softer than a Tootsie Roll. Mmm, a lot of flavor. Wow, I really like that. Even a Starburst is harder than that. Like these are really soft. Like they feel hard in my hand, but as soon as I put my mouth and started chewing it, it was really soft. I liked it. It was really nice actually. Let me try the lemon one. It's got a nice flavor to it. You don't really taste it too much at first, but as the more you chew it, the stronger it comes on. It's really nice. Next, here we have Marble Halva. Halva, a uniquely Middle Eastern snack made from ground sesame and sugar, normally served in giant blocks in various flavors. So this one says marble, so I assume that's the, the flavor. It's probably maybe like a vanilla and a chocolate. So ground sesame and sugar. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. I'm not really a big fan of sesame like sesame seeds and stuff like that, the flavor. But we'll see, That's, it might be like peanut butter or something. Mm. It smells kind of like dirt. 
Mm. Woo! Really strong flavor. Like, pretty bitter. I assume that's the chocolate part that's bitter. Almost like a peanut flavor. Like a really, really strong peanut flavor. It's not bad. Really powdery. It's really like chewing on dust. But not my favorite, definitely. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't buy this just to eat it, but it's not gross, if that makes sense. Uh, next, we have a uh, Click, Click In Creamy Milk, it's called. So this is a Click Cream Bar. A very strange looking candy bar, if we're honest. This is a crispy tube filled with chocolate and cream. Sounds good to me, I'm all about tubes filled with cream. So there it is, it's a, it's a long stick. Looks like it's got some crispies or something on the outside. It's actually yummy. It's got a different flavor than I'd expect. I guess the, the cream inside, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a white chocolate kind of flavor maybe. But if you can see on the outside, there's like a layer of white chocolate and then on top of that, it's a layer of regular chocolate. And then on the inside is this white chocolate kind of cream, but it's like a, like a crisp, like an ice cream cone kind of tube. It's pretty yum though. I like it, I would eat this, this is good. Click, mmm. Again guys, I really like these snack crates. I love being able to read a bit about the candies, especially if it's a different language. Um, plus it's really, I mean the packaging is nice, the book is nice, um, and I don't think it's a good value. Especially, you know, I like to do this kind of thing. I like different foreign foods and candies. But next, here's another example of just what I was talking about. I can't read what this says. I assume this is Hebrew since it's from Israel. But let's see, um, so weird. This one is not actually in the book, so I'm not sure why I got this one. It's really similar to this other one called Manamit. Um, and it, but this one's in Hebrew. Uh, there is some English on the side of it that says Manamim. It's coated wafers filled with hazelnut flavored cream. And this one is kind of the same thing, but this one's different packaging. So I'm gonna kind of open these up kind of similar, like right next to each other, I guess. But like I said, this one's not in the book, but I'll read what this one says. So the Manamit. There's Manamit wafers, delicious chocolate wafers in, var in various flavors like chocolate and hazelnut. So I guess this is the hazelnut flavor and this is the chocolate, just this one's in Hebrew. So open up the Hebrew one. Looks like a dark chocolate on the outside. That's yummy. Mmm. We have similar snacks here in the US. Just regular wafers, they come in a variety of flavors and different colors, purple and weird colors like that. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's light. You taste the chocolate and the hazelnut cream on the inside, but it's not really heavy, you know? I'm gonna try this other one. This is supposed to be the regular chocolate one. Yeah, this is a regular chocolate on the inside. The other one was hazelnut. Hmm, actually I like this one better. The, the flavors kind of melt a little bit better. I, I enjoy it. Hmm, really good. Next, we'll try this. I, see, I keep seeing this staring at me, so. We have quite a few of these things in the stores now. Hershey's makes some like it. Nutella has one like it. Um, mm, it's like a hazelnut cream, I think. Um, so, you see that. But basically, it's like a, a little breadstick that you dip in a chocolate, you dip in the sprinkles, and you eat. It's a little snack, a little candy snack. A little snack, a snack. Well, let's read about it. So, deli nut colors. A hazelnut chocolate spread with breadsticks and sprinkles. So, basically what I said. So, I'm gonna take one of these little sticks out. Uh, dip it around in a hazelnut spread. So basically like Nutella, except Nutella actually tastes a lot better than this. This is, you know, just kind of a cheap one. Dip it in the sprinkles, and that's what we get right there. Oh, dropping them. Eh. I could do without the sprinkles. I mean, it's fun for kids, I guess, but I could do without the breadsticks too. So, I mean, just give me the chocolate. That's all I want. Next, we have this. It is called Peskman, Peskzaman. I don't know how to pronounce it. Please, if you know how to pronounce any of this stuff, leave it in the comments down below. I love to learn. But this is the most popular candy in Israel. It's a milk chocolate bar with wafers and hazelnut cream. So, I mean, it's out, it looks a lot different. It looks a lot more fancy and more, you know, high quality than the other wafer candies we had, but it sounds the same. I mean, wafers and, and chocolate. But let's check it out. This is supposed to be the most popular candy in Israel. I'll just break off. It kind of got square, so I'll break off a square. Try it out. Mmm. It is way similar to the other one. But like I said, way better. The chocolate quality is better. It's thicker. It's a lot more flavor. Mmm. 
I enjoy this one a lot more. It's more like eating an actual chocolate bar that happens to have wafers in it instead of the other one was like wafers that were covered in chocolate. If that makes sense. The wafer to chocolate ratio is a lot better on this one. Cool? Hmm. Pest is mine. I actually really like it. It's more like a Kit Kat. Put it that way. It tastes like a Kit Kat that we have in the United States. Only with more chocolate on it. It's like a double dipped Kit Kat. And last but not least, yeah, I think, yep. The last thing we have in here is milk chocolate with popping candies. Woo, 14% popping candies. So this one in here, it says cow chocolate. Uh, whoa, this chocolate bar is filled with popping candy. Cow chocolate is one of Israel's oldest chocolate bars having been made since 1934. So let's check it out. Now we have Pop Rocks here in the United States, obviously. We call them Pop Rocks, same thing, popping candy, whatever you want to call it. But we usually don't put them in our chocolate. And I've seen a few different kind of candies, like I think Australia had one that had some popping candies in it. Um, and I never was usually a fan. Usually I didn't really tell that the popping candies were there. We'll see how the Israeli one does. Break off the piece here. Mmm, the chocolate's good. I like the chocolate. Better. I do feel the popping candies, which is fun. Mmm. You hear it? <laughs> Yeah, this is way better. This is the first chocolate bar or candy that included Pop Rocks or popping candy inside of it that I could actually tell that they were actually there. Uh, I think some of the other candies I had, they were maybe a little bit crunchy, but they weren't popping and it wasn't a whole lot. This one has a lot in it and they're popping in the mouth and uh, it adds a lot of funness to the chocolate. Mm. Plus the chocolate's really good. I like this. It's fun and enjoyable. I think it's really fun for kids too. Hmm. Well, I guess that's about it, guys. If you enjoy Snack Crate, like I said, link down below if you want to get one for yourself. Please click right here in my face to uh, subscribe. And click down here to watch any more of my other videos. As always, leave some comments down below. Like, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you next time.